Hello and welcome to a new video. I haven't posted on this channel for such a long time but I've just signed back up for the scroller box and January's has just been delivered this morning so I can't wait to get it open see what's inside. I did actually sign up last month so I got the December one but I didn't put a video out for that one. I did record unboxing it so after I've unboxed this one I'm going to quickly show what I got in the December box as well. Okay, oh, Boya crayons. Let's see what we've got in here. Okay, so we've got a, a Dela Rowney acrylic paint marker, and that's in black. It's got like quite a large nib. So I'll be trying these things out in a minute. We've got a scroll of blanks pencil with a eraser on the end, a tango blue raspberry chewy bar, sour fizz, little scroller box sticker, the scroller zine with all the information on the art supplies, this is the art print which is lovely, they always have a beautiful art print and the little sticker is a miniature version of the art print and then oh we've got a large pad of paper but that is a lot of paper it's newsprint paper, all oh, right, so it's what they would put newspapers on. So it's a fairly, I was gonna say a low quality, I don't mean to be derogatory, but yeah, it's a new, interesting though. So there's a hundred sheets, it's, it's very, very thin. It's probably perfect for crayons. Recycled lightweight paper, ideal for drawing, sketching and doodling with crayons, pencils, charcoal, pastels and much more. Hmm, take a look at the crayons unusual packaging so it's saying you can create fine lines full coverage fast saturation and soft shading color stays on paper not on hands no fixative required so it's got a strange sponge kind of frame around it oh there we go oh that's quite large with a point so we've got a red a cream a blue and a brown so this is the pencil Yep, just a ordinary graphite pencil. Feels quite hard actually. Try the crayons. Oh yeah. Oh, they're nice. They're not like chunky. They don't seem to leave lots of bits. It's a nice kind of fine application. And then with the point, yeah, you can get a much stronger mark with the point. The brown seems a bit more harder, a bit more difficult to get colour. I mean, it could just be this paper, maybe. I don't know if the paper's the best paper. It's fairly thin. Yeah, that's a bit harder, that brown one, to apply. Yeah, the, oh, the blue seems a lot more, a bit softer and more pigmented. And the cream, don't know. Difficult to see because it's not a white paper. So the acrylic paint marker. Pump it down to get it going. Yes, it's just like a nice black marker, really nice. I expect it to be like a thick paint, but it's not. It's more, it's very inky. And surprisingly, it, it barely, it doesn't really bleed through. Um, maybe just a few little flecks. I've even applied that quite thickly there and it's it's still not really bled through, not much. Okay, so I'll just have a little look at the scroller zine. So this is, so for the crayons it says, this clever crayon has been designed for use in multiple angles for different and unique visual effects. And then for the paper, it says, news just in, this newsprint paper surface from Frisk is perfect for all sorts of scrolls with hundreds with a hundred sheets you have plenty to experiment with so I will try these crayons on some different paper as well I am not sure I just think that that might be it's very very smooth that paper might be a little bit too smooth then there's more information about the artist who created this lovely art print so she's called Michaela and I think it's Theophanopoulou and she's from Athens in Greece and this is her social media information so in the magazine 
There's an interview with her. Then we've got some tips on how to use the supplies, some artist's advice. Scroll a gallery. So this is from a couple of boxes ago. And this is people who have sent in their artwork who purchased Scroll a Box. And these are just beautiful, beautiful pictures. I'm not really sure. Yeah, it doesn't really say on this page what the art materials were for these pictures so I'm not really sure what was used that was this yeah it, I noticed that in the the previous scroller magazine it just didn't say what the art supplies were now it kind of looks like pastels or crayons probably pastels but anyway the artwork's absolutely beautiful especially this I absolutely love this These hands are absolutely lovely. And this little cart. They're all lovely, lovely drawings. And then we've just got some more scroller challenge um, drawings featured and spoke, and there's some text about those. And this is the scroller challenge on the last page. So it's everything flows is the prompt. I very rarely do the actual scroller challenge. I will do something with the art supplies in the box. I'm just going to try these out on some sketch paper, ordinary sketching paper. Yeah, it seems to work a little bit better. There's a bit of texture on that paper. Oh yeah, it's definitely better than that newspaper one. And this is the one that was a little bit hard. Oh yeah, definitely much better on some Normal sketch paper. So I decided to do an urban sketch for this one and this is of a lovely building that I saw on a recent trip to Iceland. Now I've not done a lot of urban sketching but what I have done is been with watercolour so these crayons are a bit of a challenge for me. It didn't really go great. I wasn't really pleased with the end picture. But I do feel I could do better if I had more colours and a bit more practice with them. Um, and I, I found it really difficult to add shading with these colours. I did try to add some shading with the pencil. But I found it was just scratching the crayon off the surface of the paper. So I ended up using a dark blue coloured pencil for the shading. The black acrylic marker was really good for filling in the windows and outlining the house. But again, I would have liked more practice with that and maybe broke the lines up a little bit because they were just a little bit too solid. It could have done with a little bit more variation in the lines. This pen wasn't really good for any shading, but it's a really juicy pen and it's really satisfying to use. I found the crayons were great for layering when I was colouring the trays. I used multiple layers of the brown and the cream over each other, back and forward, back and forward, and they worked really well. They just blended into each other nicely. I do think they're a nice product and I would like more colours, but they'll probably just go to the charity shop because I'm not really buying any art supplies at the moment. So, yeah, I've enjoyed playing around with them though. I've had fun with them. So if you stick around, you'll see me unboxing the December box, which was the box previous to this one, and then the artwork that I produced with that, and I was actually really pleased with the artwork from the December box. So I hope you'll stick around and watch that.
this is scroller box 100 so this is the 100th box and apparently it's got a special gift in it which is why i've signed back up to scroller box so i'll get it open and see what's inside okay so i'll get right into it see what we've got oh it looks like a derwent pen pan so we've got this little pin. This is probably the special item. It's a lovely little scroller box pin that is really nice in gold. And there's a little 100 on the card that it's attached to. That is lovely. We've got the scroller box sticker. We've got a gold coin. With it being the Christmas box. A Uniball Signor gold gel pen. And then a Derwent set. Hopefully it'll be a new one. So this is the tinted charcoal paint pan set. Very nice. I've got quite a few of these sets and I'm sure I did get one of them in a scroller box. So it looks like they're all fairly dark colours. All different shades of charcoal. And there's an A6 watercolour postcard, hopefully watercolour paper. Oh yes, hot press, acid free. A beautiful print, as always. There's always beautiful prints in these boxes. So they're quite nice colours. Quite colourful actually. I was expecting them all to be fairly dark. But there's some nice purple and yellow in there. And then the scrollers in. So we've got an overview of everything that's in the box. An interview with the artist of the beautiful print. Some tips on using the medium. Some artist advice. Some gorgeous artwork from a previous box from scroll box number 98. So these are the pictures that people made with scroll box 98. I'm not sure what was in that box because I didn't get that box. I'm curious now. <laughs> I'm curious what it was. Doesn't really say on here. Some more information and yep, yeah, so that's a scroll of zine. So I'll quickly swatch these charcoal paints and try and make something with them. I'm wondering if there's a prompt. I never do the prompts because I just don't really have much imagination. So this is the prompt for scroller box 100. Tessellate, tessellate, never even heard that word. Don't know if that's how you pronounce it. So I'll probably just do my own little picture. I don't think I'll be following the prompt. So Derwin or do already have a few more of these pen sets out and I do have some of them. I think there is more than these, but these are the ones that I've got. There's the graphite tint one. So that is graphite tinted with different colours. Then there's the ink tents and there's two ink tents sets. So they've got different colours in. So that's, that must be the palette one. And then this is the palette two. So if you're familiar with the ink tents pencils and the ink tents blocks, this is the pan version. Although I will say, I thought that these ones were a little bit chalky compared to the Inktense pencils. I felt like it wasn't the exact same formula. Um, I mean, if you look at this on the, which is dried on here, it just has a bit of a chalky haze to it. Um, so that's the Inktense ones. And then this one, absolutely beautiful, this one. This is the pastel one. So these are supposed to be chalky because the pastel, but they're really, really nice pastel paints that actually don't really look very chalky. They're nice. Yeah, so this is the charcoal one. So I'm hoping that it it doesn't have like a sheen or a chalky finish. Um I I don't really have any experience with charcoal, but I but I do know that um, it's a lot blacker than graphite and it doesn't have that glare. So I'm hoping these don't have any kind of glare or chalkiness. And these 
little Derwent paint sets usually come with one of these water brushes so I'll be using that. So you just take the little stopper off and then just fill it up with a little water pipette. And they also come with a little sponge at the side so you can wipe your brush off on that. Lovely gold gel pen, really nice. Doesn't really have a lot of shimmer to be honest with you but it's still nice, nice pen. Okay, so first impression, they don't look like they're going to be chalky. They seem like they're going to be really nice. Oh, I do love the colours. I just hope they dry really nice. Hope they dry as nice as they lay down. I wasn't really impressed with the graphite tint ones. They were, they were fairly chalky. So I hope these will be better. They really, they really don't look at this point like they're gonna be chalky or shiny. Although they are very thirsty, you can see those drips that drips of water that I've put on those ones have kind of soaked in already. But I mean that's not a problem. Okay, so this is them both dried and the, yeah, they do have a bit of a chalky finish unless it's just me, I, I'm just not too sure but I think I'm maybe unfairly comparing them to like professional watercolours um, I mean, that glowing embers, it is a little bit chalky I think the forest pine's a little bit chalky and the mountain blue, I mean the nice, they are nice colours and then this is the graphite tint they don't look as chalky as I remember but I remember when I did a picture with them I was quite disappointed at the end I felt like I couldn't get like really deep like the darkest tone because they were just drying a little bit lighter all the time I don't know, is it just me? do they actually look chalky? That I'm looking through the viewfinder on the camera and the look, they don't look chalky at all, but they do look a little bit more chalky in real life. I mean, especially that graphite grey. Our hearts beat to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take. So inspired by the print in the box, I decided to do a diamond pattern. I used all the colours except for the white. Then for each of the colours, I used varying strengths from like a strong mix to a weak mix. And then I used the gold pen, the gold gel pen at the end, just to add some finishing details, some little dots and dashes. And then I also framed the outline with the gold pen as well. Um, I was really pleased with this one. I would use this set again for like muted colour picture or pattern. Um, and it was lots of fun to use. I, I do really love these little Derwin paint sets. And they're not amazing quality paints, but they're a lot of fun. And yeah, I'm really glad that I signed back up to Scrollerbox. I haven't not like been getting scroller boxes for quite a while. These last two boxes that I have got, it's been quite exciting I've really really enjoyed them also yeah I wanted to say about these pins they smudge like crazy I used an eraser at the end to try and erase the pencil lines that I'd made and it really smudged um, it, you can see here in the picture so I ended up using like a really thin eraser that would fit in between those patches of paint um, yeah so that was fine and then when I was wiping away the eraser dust 
the smudge with my finger as well so I used this little brush here which is on the like the end of a pencil just a little tiny brush to get rid of that dust so yeah so I was really pleased with this artwork so anyhow thanks very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll be back with another video with the new scroller box that we receive at the end of this month hopefully Shut up.